welcome to 75R Studios Instagram live session. Thank you so much for joining us, whether you're joining us live or whether you're watching a recording of this session. We're so happy to have you here today. And uh, like every week, I'm, I'm Stephanie, Stephanie Jennifer, and I'll be joined by Debbie New and Susan Yeo in just a bit. So while we set up our little uh, tabletops, we set up our, with our technical technical sort of um, ish situation. Yeah, you can take out the tile and a pen and uh, tangle along with us for about an hour, an hour and a half. We'll be focusing on the fragment of your imagination challenge. This is week two of it. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us. Susan, are you okay? I can't I can't turn my camera. I don't know, I can't find that option. You must press the center yeah. of the screen. Yeah. They changed the interface they a little are. bit. Yeah, fantastic. So you have to either you double tap the screen or you long press. Double tap. I think Mine cannot, no press. response. Mine's Mine is a long press. press. Oh, Susan, I can see you though. No, yeah, the one is fake. The... She can't change her uh, camera. Yeah. Anymore. If you tap my I... screen, Susan, does it give you yeah, the yeah. option? No, I can't see the option. You must I can't see the one. Yeah. You okay, I think I, I. Yeah, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will go out and come in again. Sure. We'll see you in a bit, Susan. So, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'm streaming from a 7 Forest 5 Rivers account. That's at 7 Forest 5 Rivers. I'm halfpen underscore will draw. Debbie is tangled.pursuits. And Susan, who will be joining us, uh, joining us again in just a little bit, is susanyo.czt. Thank you so much for joining us. Please um, take out a tile and uh, a pen. Today's string will actually be slightly different. So I think uh, Debbie, Susan and I are all working slightly larger than we normally would. I think so my, my using... camera is kind of uh, strange as well. So oh. I'm trying to sort of find the angle because I realised that when Susan leaves, my angle changes as well. So... Mm. Yeah, it's kind Plus of the dimension changes. Yeah, so this is today's yeah. string. Yeah, Susan got it. Uh, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> so today's string will be slightly different. It'll be based on four bijoux as the uh, outline for basically the tile. This is like the what sits technique that Debbie uh, coined previously, and then you can see the string is a continuous sort of loop. Uh, I think Steph, I can show mm -hmm. them the string. I actually have the original. With yes. Me, so maybe you can. Yeah. So actually, um, for the past uh, F, uh, for the past weeks, we've actually gone through uh, week one. So on my desk, uh, I'm not sure you can see, I've got a lot of stuff on my desk. So we've gone through week one of the handout together, uh, as well as the first week of all the tangles. So last week, we did uh, Well, Z and Dream Decks. And then this week, we're going to do uh, week two tangles or, or patterns. So, um, Steph is doing NIDA, right? Yep. And then Bills is going to be done by Susan. And then yes. they've actually asked me to do dailies. So, 8, 11, and 12 January prompts. So, um, so for the past couple of weeks, I've actually showed you some of my work, working sheets or worksheets. So, these came out uh, last week as well. And then I sort of walked you through... Um, the fact that everything is hand drawn and then put together in print uh, or in digital form. So, um, my, one of my stream contributions is here in the original. Um, I think this one is too big, so we are gonna use uh, just this part today. And it's actually comprised of four bijou tiles. So you just need a any bijou tile. It, it doesn't have to be blank. So I'm actually upcycling this one from I think this was last year's. Uh, one of the challenges I did in June last year. So you can see that uh, a bijou tile just fits right there. 
Now, what happens if you don't have a Biju tile? So, if you don't have a Biju tile, any, um, any square piece of paper will work as well for your white seats. Of course, depending on your paper size. So, mine, mine is a twinchy size or two-inch square, which is called a Biju. So, basically, what you want to do is you grab a piece of larger sheet. So, I have an A6 here. And then I think this is American sizing. So this Fabriano, uh, this blue sheet here is actually A6. And then the, I think this is Strathmore 500 series. So this is the American sizing uh, of the A6 equivalent. And then I have an A5 here. So this is Strathmore Vision. So you kind of like, um, depending on what, uh, whether you're using BU or not. So I have another one here. So this is also Vision. Um, so depending on whether you use, you're using a BU, or not, you're going to have um, space for at least three or four bijus so that you can recreate this string. So this string that's in your handout. So um, of course, you can also um, print your handout uh, onto drawing paper. So this is actually page, I think this is page 13. So you can find it on page 13 of your handout, your PDF handout. You can actually print it on drawing paper. So um, this one that I'm holding is actually very heavy duty sketch paper. So you can do that as well. Just make sure that your surface uh, can take a good amount of shading, a good amount of inks, or even watercolor if that is something that you want to do. So I think this sketch paper is probably 200 uh, GSM or maybe at least, at least 180 because it's quite weighty. And uh, as you can see, I've done shading on it as well. So this is this is part of one of the worksheets that I put together uh, coming up with the drafts for FYIC. So um, as you can see, you can also take uh, a good amount of inks uh, on this paper. I think this one is different though. I think this one was from Steph, this yellowish one, right? Mm. Yeah, so Steph also contributed some of the sketch papers which uh, I was very happy to get my hands on and try. What, what paper is this? Uh, it's Kenson. Oh, Kenson cream, I think. Okay. The color so re regardless of whatever paper you choose, um, just make sure that uh, it's not too heavy grain because then you, it interferes with your tangling. So I'm going to put away my handout, uh, which is taking up uh, a part of my space now. Actually, this is my dining table, but it's full. So that's how my dining table is like very small. Yeah, so um, I have a few tinted pieces with me. Uh, you don't have to use a pre-tinted piece. You can also do it black and white. Um, Susan and Steph, are you doing it black and white or with color? I'm doing it black and white. Right. I'm doing it full color. Okay, so I think I'll probably uh, decide probably between this one and this one. So so that I don't have to, a lot of catching up to do. Because these ladies tangle very fast and I'm always the last one. Right. Trying to figure out a drawing space. Yeah, uh, so I see in chat right now that some people mentioned that they can't download the handout. So we just want to mention that actually the handout is quite large, so it might take some time to download. Uh, if you still have issues, please uh, contact us, either by email or by Instagram. We'll, we'll I guess a lot of us try to download on the phone. Uh, mm. It's not uh, a very good uh, suggestion to download on the phone because most phones uh, cannot um, handle such a large PDF file. So you might be better, better off trying on your laptop or your desktop. Um, I think some iPads allow you to save it over, but some don't. So uh, that's another thing to consider. But I would suggest using a computer to do a download or get someone to download it for you and email it to you or write mm. it to us and then we can try and help. Yeah, because yeah. most phones uh, somehow just can't handle PDF documents very well, especially the large ones. Um, so actually before we continue, uh, let me just recap about uh, fragments and reticular fragments. So, sometime back in, I think it was 2017 or 2018, um, the concept of reticular and fragments appeared uh, in the Zentangle Primer Volume 1. So, this is a book by Zentangle Inc. And uh, the original fragments, uh, or rather the original concept of fragments appeared here. 
uh, where they actually uh, showed everyone um, the classic fragments, which are the round square, so the squares, and then the round ones as well as the triangular ones. So um, wherever in the handout you see a sort of like a code name or code word, uh, it's not that I came up with it. It's actually in reference to the Zentangle Primer, Volume 1. And um, later, uh, as I think this was 2018 now, uh, probably, because I think it was uh, the, one of the Zen Again conferences uh, with uh, a bunch of 200 CZTs, or is it 250 CZTs? So they actually put together, uh, everyone contributed to this book. So this is uh, another book by Zentangle. It's a compilation. So this one is a soft cover, and then this one is a hard cover. And um, you, can, you can look at all the different contributions from the different CZTs around the world. Uh, and you can actually see how they play with fragments, as well as um, you get some uh, reticulum, you know, uh, interspersed with the, with the completed pieces. So at the back of the book also is like, um, if you are interested in uh, collecting, can you see? The, okay. Yeah, so if you're interested in collecting your fragments and then creating patterns using fragments, this is another good resource. Um, this is actually a much cheaper book than the hardcover primer version. I think it comes in a set now as well. So you can buy it separately or as a set uh, from zentangle.com. Right, so Steph, would you like to start? Sure. So, you, Susan is actually, yeah, I wanted to mention, so Susan is actually breaking out her Zentangle sketchbook. It's the first page that she's doing. Yes. So I thought that was, that was worthwhile to mention. She texted <laughs> us in, in chat. She was like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to use the sketchbook. <laughs> it was actually a yeah. gift from Debbie, so it's quite funny. Like, oh, first, mm. first page very important, eh? Okay, yeah, first page so, very important. Yeah, like I was teasing her about getting the champagne out. Yeah, man. So the you know, like, <laughs> voyage, right? You know, you know yeah, how man. they christen ships? Like in the olden days when, you know, everyone travels uh, with, uh, by sea, right? So when they christen a new ship, they break a bottle of champagne against the hull of the ship. Have you seen what? It? Susan, break, break the no, bottle no, of champagne No, no, I don't want. The of her table. <laughs> 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 well, you can start a new trend, it's like, you know, it's like the soy mo. Soy mo is Susan, right? So this one is champagne. It's Susan. No. But champagne has no colour, but the smell, maybe. Uh, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe you mix it with magicals. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So like Debbie, like Debbie mm-hmm. mentioned, the fragments that we'll be using today inspired by Nida, Bales and Lilies. So yeah, I'll be uh, demonstrating how to draw Nida. And I've actually created Maybe this little... demonstrate your string first. Sheet, sheet. Oh, must demonstrate string ah. Yeah. So what? You don't have it. Because all our strings will look different, you know. Oh, uh, I've already set up my string already. Yeah, so she's oh, always super fast. And then she's must always pre- like... Pre-prepare my... us to know everything that she's doing. Okay, I have a bijou <laughs> here. I have a bijou here. So the idea is that you use your bijou as a little template. So I start from the uh, top left corner, slightly slanted. I outline one, and then move on to the second one. So it's slightly lower. Then outline it. Second one. I'm doing this in pencil, right? Because uh, you may later on want to draw beyond your little bijou squares, and that's fine too. And then the third one's the lowest one, and then the fourth one is in the top right corner, over here. And then if you notice on the uh, FYIC handout, like Debbie was showing you guys, two edges of the bijoux actually have a little bit of a cut off. Well, I can bring out mine to show that. Come on. Yeah. Uh, so she's talking about this one. Yeah, I think you can see the two sides have actually that little slit. So you can draw that. And of course, if you're drawing the string uh, on your own, you can of course decide which bijou will be in front or behind which one. So in the printout, it's kind of set for you, you know. But then in your own example, you can sort of decide which one you want to do 
which one you want to be in front, which one you want to be behind. And then you can see the string along the four, these four bijoux are actually a continuous line. So it's up to you on um, how you want to set it. As long as it, ha it has loops, you know, you'll be fine. It has and loops. Even if you, loops, not books. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a PG. <laughs> yeah, so it has uh, three loops. The first uh, bijou is just a line of Yes, three loops. Yes, three loops. Wondrous. Ew. <laughs> So it's up to you and how you want to set up your string. I'm going to set mine up now. Hope for the best. Susan has yeah. set up her string. Yeah, it's she already has. set up. She really Maybe you really should hold it up to the camera because it's kind of dim. Mm. So if you're just joining us, hi, hello. We're uh, focusing on some fragments on week two of A Fragment of Your Imagination Challenge 2022. We've just finished setting up our string. And like every week, this uh, a recording of this video will be available uh, both on Instagram at 7 Forest 5 Rivers and also on our YouTube channel if you prefer that, that uh, method of watching the video. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. So I'm going to be teaching you how to draw NIDA. Here are some like uh, examples of different ways that you can embellish NIDA. So NIDA in its original form is actually a seed shape or a leaf shape, depending on how you see it. But you can also fit it into different shapes like, like squares, triangles, circles. Uh, this shape is very interesting. It's kind of like this, the uh, sort of curve that Caden has, right? the reverse S curve. So it's kind of a box, but it's like a curvy box. It's quite fun. This one's a heart. So lots of different ways to embellish it. Let's learn to draw Naida by itself. So the original way to draw Naida, you start off with a leaf shape. I want to practice it with me on some practice paper or on the back of your tile. You then draw an X shape inside. Susan, I, I realized that the last time you taught Naida in a bit far, lah. <laughs> I've seen, <laughs> I've seen people draw like when? um, at, on Monday's class. Oh, oh, okay. She drew it like this, like a kind of like a diamond. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Here. No, I thought it was interesting. I've seen, I've seen someone else do it. And I was like, oh, this is interesting because like you can see, uh, a different oh, shape. Here, 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 so bad. I never shame. It's interesting. No, actually, this one is uh, to to show that everyone have different kind of interpretation. Weird. But yeah, no matter what, we still can come up with the nice one. Nice shape, mm, right? X. After the X yeah. shape, you add auras to the sides. And then to the top and bottom. But for the top and bottom section, right, the last aura you're going to do is going to be a full aura that sort of follows that seat shape that you have. Is it very noisy? Uh, is my audio very noisy? Because no. my, no, I think it's a very windy day here. And no, also no, there's no. someone downstairs that has been playing uh, Chinese New Year songs the whole day. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> no, it's not nice. It's driving me a bit bonkers. Don't, don't so if it's driving you bonkers, <laughs> please let me know so that I can mute myself. No, we're okay. Yeah, because I can't hear it. I have, uh, I have the my sound. Voice cancellation. Yeah. So you can you can fit Nida in the different shapes. Basically, the way that you draw your X curve will actually determine how your Nida looks. So for example, in this example with squares, if I draw my X curve from point to point, right, from the corner of each box, it'll look uh, a certain way. And then if I change the direction of my X curve, my Nida will look different as well. So you can play around with that, the placement of your X. And then subsequently, it's just how you choose to embellish it. So... For example, this one, I did um, a full aura that's quite large and then I put uh, sort of a bales kind of design in it. Then over here, I did just a single full aura and left it empty. You can turn it into you a gemstone. You can also put a Nida inside the Nida. Yo, oh my goodness. I think <laughs> so that. So it's fun. Yo, it's super mini mini. So you know like Russian dolls? Yeah, yeah. A and Nida then... in a Nida in a Nida. No, it's, it's, it's like they're so full of themselves. Yo. <laughs> and then for this one I added kind of like a perk line to it so that's fun yeah. stacking dolls 
Yeah. Yeah. So each one looks like a clone, but like a smaller one of the previous one, right? Mm. So I was I was looking at uh some of the funny internet jokes uh the other day, and then someone was someone was complaining about them. They're so full of themselves. Yo. <laughs> So for this this example of Naida, right? I actually drew an X this way, and then I added uh kind of like a bale sort of shape to it. So that's how I did it, and then we add all this to it. So play around with the shape. Naida has a lot of possibilities. Yeah. Susan, what kind of shapes do you like for Naida? I want to try different kind of shape. Now actually, I'm using one of the look, uh, one of the look to draw this. Mm -hmm. So this sketch will very precious. Can tell. You are. Very stressed. <laughs> yeah. I'm very stressed. Right? No, she's for speech. Very daring, right? And then she will go for it, you know. So her her string for her what seat usually is in ink. Today I see her drawing in pencil for the for the what seat string. Oh, because I somehow I intend to like draw out of the string, so I draw it in pencil. And then you're also scared to make mistake, right? No, no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> just draw. Just draw. Can can like. Just uh, just prepare my black color brush pen. If any no. case, <laughs> just. Color, 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 color. <laughs> The VU yeah, uh, what about me? You you drawing what shape Naida? Oh I, I have uh, four Naidas already actually. Wow. Um yeah, in a bloom. And then I realized that because I cannot I'm a bit blind, right? So I cannot mm. see the string, you know. So I because I chose a dark colored uh tint, which is blue, right? So I think this is a mixture uh of blues and um it's kind of dark, so I can't really see my pencil uh, string, you know, if I don't do anything. So I decided to do my string in white and probably work primarily with white today. Uh, and then add my highlights and lowlights uh, later, maybe with uh, either Sakura Koi or I have a pack of ink pens here as well. So we forgot to kind of go through our materials. Mine are kind of the same, so yeah. What, what materials was like, do you yeah. have with you? There. I have this, I think Strathmore, I don't know when. Strathmore people gifted to me by Debbie. Oh, I know, I think that's Vision. Really? Is it, it Vision like or Vision? I don't think. I don't think it feels like Vision though. Yeah, see, this is why I write everything down on the back and then you scroll me. <laughs> I'm like, hey, whatever, like, can use, can yes. Yeah, then it's tinted yeah. using Lindy's Gang Magicals, which uh, some parts actually have a lot of pigment. So I like switched out to an old Micron pen so that if like, I spoil it, it's not so bad. Like, I'm not spoiling a new Micron, I'm spoiling an old Or oh, you can use gel. La. Yeah, also can. Mm. But if you are using gel, you need to wait for it to dry. I mm. always forget. Yeah. The NIDA that I'm working with today is a water drop shape. So that's interesting. What about you, Debbie? Susan also. I can see Susan has a water drop shape. Oh, yeah, uh, this is the look. Same, same idea. Susan, uh, Susan I think yeah. you need to push up your sketchbook because you cannot see your pen. Oh, okay. I, I mean, yeah, can only see the top one. Yeah, I also have this problem. I cannot keep in the frame. Let's draw yeah, a square so, on the table. So maybe maybe um Susan should uh demo her tangle before we start asking questions. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> since today, since I'm so so kanjong today, can I don't answer any question? <laughs> Yo, like that, yeah, it's not difficult <laughs> la. Okay, the question have today. Okay, okay, okay. Stop the question. I, I demo first. I demo first. <laughs> she must get <laughs> Okay, uh, the tango I'm going to to demo is the uh, actually the Zantanga official pattern called Bales. The original one is in a square, uh, grid. Okay, so I will start. This is uh, start with the right shape. So normally, what when I draw this kind of uh, pattern, I will repeat the same, uh, pen stroke. 
which is top to bottom. Okay, then I'll turn my towel and do the other side. This one I think is, uh, for myself, I think this one is uh, the best way for me uh, to slowly do all the drawing. Then you can have some aura inside. Okay, this is the original one. Then the one that showcase in the FYIC is actually in a triangle grid. So the same thing from the point to point, you add a C curve. And for this pattern, depends on the how how's the curve that you draw, it will affect all the the uh, outcome of this one. Did I? Hey, sorry, I think I draw wrongly. But yeah, <laughs> we do again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's actually. Yeah, should be this one. Should be this one. H16. Mm. Yeah, H one six. Yeah. Uh, should be this one. Uh, this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. H H one six. Okay. So it's on page hundred and twenty of your primer. Yeah. Uh, if you have so, a primer, if not, uh, let's if not, you can refer yeah. to the yeah the handout. Okay. That's why I remember that there's a student feedback to me says whenever she draw this kind of uh, grid, you feel confused. So what you can do is really you find a center point. The center point might not be necessary in the center, can be maybe off a bit. Then you have a different kind of uh, effect on your drawing. Okay, so point to point. Yeah, just I miss this step. No, Susan, Susan mm. just giving your options. Yeah. Mm. Okay, then by adding the aura outside, then maybe you can fill it with the black ink, then to add the contrast to this one. Okay? Mm. Okay, who is the next? <laughs> okay, so the... I think I will start to demo mine before I ask the first question. Or should I ask the first question, give your time to think and then do my demo? No. I thought you said yeah. your question was difficult. Yeah, my question is not difficult, but the way you all act is the way I'm going to kill your <laughs> with the question. I'm okay. So, I think yeah. Susan just dressed because she's working on her very nice sketchbook. So. Oh yeah, that's why, right? Well, um, she got no, no more brain power left. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to I'm just going to use back one of my worksheets as a, as sort of like a uh well as a scrap paper because I don't I don't have my sketchbook today with me. Uh, my desk is actually very full and um I actually toppled it or toppled it over uh just now because my cat was trying to uh, uh sort of like jostle her way in. So I actually have like um uh, two cats and. The tango that I'm demoing today is called Delis, which is actually named after one of my cats. So, uh, Delis, uh, it, am I out of the screen step? Please let me know, uh, because I, I can't see actually. So, Delis is actually a very old tango. I think um, probably 2016 or 2015. So, actually, Delis itself starts with a line first. Uh, and you you find the point um, around one third or two thirds uh, away from each end of the line. And you sort of put down your first curve stroke. And actually, you don't lift up your pen. So I understand that for some people with uh, issues holding the pen, this can be kind of difficult. So you can actually just have different strokes. You don't actually need a continuous stroke. But of course, when it's a continuous stroke, it's kind of soothing to draw. So the natural shape of Delis is already a seed. Uh, well, the natural shape of Delis is a cat, but well, yeah. So <laughs> this one is the I mean, it's around. right? Yeah, so with Delis, you can actually around. fill a lot of different... Uh, so I have my worksheet here, which is uh, very good because I can show you what I mean. Um, you just need to separate uh, a fragment, or rather divide a fragment into two, any shape you like. And just continue. So you can actually just fill up uh, this round fragment with DVs and it will become a round uh, shape. 
And then, of course, I have a triangle here as well, and a triangle fragment here, and then I can do that as well. So I'm putting down uh, a center line to divide it, showing you that it can be done. And then you can just continue the lines just to fit the shape. So this, although um, it sort of comes to, to us as an organic tangle, you can actually fill a lot of things uh, with delis. And today I'm going to show you another way of drawing delis. So um, back to my original uh, shape here, or rather my original set of delis here. I'm just going to draw a grid, a simple grid. You can draw um, a square grid, a triangle grid, or any other grid. And pretend that you are working your way down. So I like to work uh, vertical down first. But you can start in any direction. So it creates bales as well when you do it this way on a square grid. Uh, my pen is right now. I think it's because I, I dropped it just now. Let me just change over to another gel pen. So I have... Uh, this is dying as well. Oh no! No. It's 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 probably because the whole the whole stash fell over just now. So yeah, I need to replace my pens ASAP. I think this one is actually better than the, the other one. So let's go back to this one. So you can actually rotate um your grid again, and continue the sort of bales one and B. So now it looks as though your delays is a fragment within your bales. So you know how your bales has like seeds, right? Or petals or leaves, right? And then now your dealers is filling up uh, those fragments as well. So you can have like a endless sort of grid with dealers. Or you can actually break it up and then just start on a X axis and then you have like a flower dealers. Fleur dealers, you know? Uh, nobody is complaining about my bad jokes today, which is rare. It's a good job. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to start on the first question while we draw. Mm. It's not a hard one, I promise. No. Are we ready? Mm. Or should I wait a while? Can, can. <laughs> Stand like, I want to be done. I want to be done. I want to go home. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> okay, so if you were a fragment, which fragment mm. would you be? So um, oh. in the past two weeks, we've actually gone through like uh, two weeks of the FYIC or going to be two weeks of the FYIC. Is there a fragment that particularly uh, stands out or particular, particularly you feel fondness for? Oh yeah, no, I'm done with fragments. Like, no, thank you. Still okay. Wait, I need to go refer to the handout. Yeah, me too. Oh, no. Debbie, you want to answer first? Hey, I asked the question and I answer first. What? Well, we're trying to find... Then last you made me answer everything. Yo, poor thing. Well, I mean, you can always, you can always ask me to no, answer no, first. No, no, no. Noel. 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 <laughs> Noel is like Mr. Susan's name. Hmm. Let's see. So I've done my uh, Maida, then I'm going to try and squeeze in. Oh, that's a nice way of squeezing in the bale fragment, uh, Susan. Well, if sorry? you can think of a... Sorry? She says it's a nice way to squeeze in the bale yeah. fragment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I might so steal so the idea. Think of a, if you can't think of a fragment that you like, you can also think of a tangle that you like. Because some of the fragments actually come out... Uh, come, come, come to us from tangles originally before uh, we deconstruct them as fragments. So we kind of reverse engineer them, if you would. Kind of lah, right? I quite like, I quite like bales, the bales fragment, like out of like, now we are on second week lah, so from day one to day 14, I quite like the bales fragment. I also like the well fragment because of the low ruffle in the, like, there's an additional detail that I wouldn't have added on my own. So, I quite like that. Why you choose the two two that I wanted to choose also? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> well, if you had gone first... Well, oh, okay. Because... If, no, if she had gone first, it won't be a 
the problem, right? You ask us to go first, then after that you complain about what we chose. Mm. Mm. Okay, never mind. I got. I, I still have another. I still have another twenty nine to choose. Yo, twenty nine. Yeah, thirty thirty one. Yeah, first. I think I like. I I I like this one. This is the pork. Of course, two week only, huh? Okay, okay. Ah, you want? You want? Can lah, can lah. Can. Yeah, this one. This one. I give you the the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? The the pork leaf. Yeah, the pork leaf with the the flip over this one. I like this card a lot. Leafly over. Oh, this one, okay. This one, the fold. You know, screen. Yeah, the fold. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Last time I uh already tried to do one fold, but in your FYIC it showed the two fold. Actually, initially I didn't know that this is a poke leaf. I thought that this is oh it's very cute shape like a a heart shape then a leaf shape combined together. But only after that I I look for a while and say e. This is the pork leaf that with a bowl. Yeah, so I like this very much. But it's written there pork leaf, what? Yeah, Jeez, I didn't first read. Glance, <laughs> but Yo, yes, first but, glance. But, but, but you got stem. <laughs> Let me. Yeah, yeah that, I did say got that. stem. Yeah, yes. It wasn't me. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I like well as well. But well, I you like well. Well, well as yeah. well. Well, yeah, well as well. Yeah, I like well. I also like uh the ladybug. So since since Susan is talking about the entire thirty one days, then we talk about the entire thirty one days. Uh, I like the ladybug, but I don't know how to vary it except for different colors. Mm. Yeah. So that I one open its wings. kind of hard to vary though. Uh, I don't know how to draw the wings there. Yeah. So I also like um the birthday fragment, which is um. Contributed by Jessica Davies, uh, CCT. I thought it was a very interesting, uh, very good uh, idea to combine. I think it's Cubine and all that. Cubine and wait, now, let me look at my notes. See, I cannot remember. So, which one yeah. can you show? Yeah, I'm looking for it. Hang on, ah. Uh. Yeah, I should have it here. Yeah, is this one? Uh, can you see my? Oh no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one. Oh, okay. Nice. So it's kind of like a cube bind and a seed. Like cast. Like cast um, minus the, the fancy well, extra mm, things. Mm, not really, because, uh, okay, let me see whether I can compare. Ah, that. So, good thing I have my notes, right? So, this is cast. This is cast. And then, this is the birthday fragment. Uh, yeah. So, it's still very different. Uh, both are very different. In fact, it's here actually on the same sheet. So I'm not sure that you can see. Let me hold it. Yeah. So this one versus this one. Kind of different. Uh, very fun though, because if you rotate them differently, you get different things. Um, I, I also like Cass, but uh, it requires a lot of thinking. So yeah, I mean. it slows me down a little bit. Uh, and this was another fragment. Uh, this was another fragment that didn't make the cut. So I really like this too. I don't know what to write about it, you know. Like, uh, I don't know how to write the description, so I shelved it. I like this fragment. <laughs> That's the description. Yeah, I like this fragment. Full stop. <laughs> so for all 31 days, I write the same thing, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, see, it's not a difficult question, right? <laughs> no. Not difficult, but need, but need to, need, need uh, to take think. some time to refer. Yeah. <laughs> so, you prefer Stephanie's question, is it? Okay, easier. She's just like, I can just, I can just anyhow question. pick. <laughs> Come okay, next. Okay. So, you know how we have all been CDTs for a while now. Mm. Um, what is, a, what is a, a tangle pattern that you started out not liking or you found very difficult? Uh, so, it's either you found it difficult or you don't like it. And then later, as you explore, you realize that actually it's quite nice. Actually, you like it. You know? I, 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 so, what I is have the answer for this. Your, what is I, that? I also have the answer. Uh, okay, la, then your answer is very good. I don't you finish your question. question. 
Yeah, yeah, finish, finish. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, so basically, you know, it's like if you change your mind, what made you change your mind? Oh. So for example, if let's say you encountered one that you don't like, right? Um, tell us why, what made you change your mind also lah. So that means it's not just saying, oh, this is the thing I don't like, full stop, right? And it's not, not, not just to say, in the end, I like it, full stop. But also what happened made you like it? Susan, you want to go first in case my answer is same as yours? Yeah, no. <laughs> no worry. You can, you can answer first. Okay, Even if it's the same, no problem. My answer, my answer is Muka. Also, you don't so, like Muka. Yeah, so well, I went I to seminar. Like grits. grits are fine. Grits, you can just make it like uh, wobbly, you know? But like wavy, not wobbly, wavy lines, you know, the initial grid lines that you lay down. You can just be curvy, that's fine, that's how I like get over it. But like mocha, I really just couldn't stand it because, where do I have like scrap people, my goodness. You know how like the original mocha, the original mocha is like one continuous line, right? Yeah. Then I don't like, I don't like this inside space. Because then if What's I shit the here, space? so let's say I shit here, then I start to shit here. Then shit here, then suddenly it goes inside this muka. Then I'm very pictic, I'm very annoyed with it. Very confused. And then here, then it's like, what do I do with this little end part? Like, do I just draw a line there? Then it looks very ugly. So oh, I didn't like it. shit the inside, no, if that's the case. You can shit the whole of the inside, right? Cannot. Cannot, right? How to shit the whole of the inside? Yeah, you can, right? So, okay, let me find a piece of, I don't know, uh, on my desk, there are too many things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, too many things is kind of fine. Yeah, I don't know which is the rough people. I'm all look like rough people. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you know, you know how we. Uh. You know. You know. Actually, I actually realized that I had a grow guitar here also, and then after that, we deconstructed it after we went filming. So you know how you have like mocha, right? And then you come down, and then it joins another mocha, and then it comes down again, right? Just to join again. So you get my drift. You can actually shade this whole part here. And then you so ugly. Like... <laughs> I'm using a I have a, hand I have hand. another option. Another oh, option. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the mocha so, so... that the original one. Just draw a line in the middle. Then you just shade one of oh, the sides. Maybe right like side. Debbie, Debbie yeah. Said. Yeah. Debbie is the whole bottom, like right? <laughs> okay, so I, I, anyways, I I my solution <laughs> is, hello to everyone who is just joining us, uh, in case no, you're wondering no, what's no, going no, on. Hello. No, no, I, I'm just saying hi to people because I see a lot of people coming in. Basically, yeah, we're discussing... No, my solution is like, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we're discussing why I don't like Muka and how I managed to like it. So, then, I didn't like the fact that they are sort of one continuous like loop, right? So I broke them Why? down into like single right. mukas. No, listen. So now when I draw muka, if hey, I want to draw interrupt. them, you can, uh. I cannot interrupt you. If I want to draw them as a <laughs> continuous line, then I will just draw them like little algaes, uh, little beads sprouts sprouting from the ground. Yeah. So oh, nice. Like, uh, oh, uh, cute. Then another one I think that a lot of us do is like let's say there's like a print tom here, then we want to draw. Mocha on the right side of our print home. We'll just have like a single stock of mocha coming from there, you know? So it's like individual single mukas. Then that gives me like a clear background and foreground, and that's a lot easier to shape. So that's that's how I got over my Don't my irk of mocha. I actually have a blog post, you know, on everything is hyphen art dot com where like I discuss this very problem that I had and I like Whoa. show how I solved it. Yeah, so it's interesting. No, yeah, but so then Susan... now, now do you like it or not? Yeah, yeah, now, now it's fine. Don't like it. Now it's fine because now it's like I draw them single by itself, but I don't draw it the original way that it's it like, like it's it like con continuous line. Yeah, it's but it's sound like you, you don't like it still. I'm not like in love, in love with it, but it's it's <laughs> an okay tango to use once in a while, you know. But you yeah. use a lot of mocha. Yeah. Because I draw them single, but you no, never so see me. You, <laughs> you never see me draw it as a continuous loop. Yeah, so that's that's my my. Yeah, this is how fierce she is. This one, not fierce la. It's very nice. Fierce. Susan, you always yelling at people. It's just that loud. Susan, you will. Sina. 
Mm. It's the yeah, tangle yeah, that I, I <laughs> yeah, it's the one that I do not like because I always can't draw. Uh, the the outcome is not what I expected, so it's very ugly. So oh. whenever I draw Sina, is uh follow exactly what Maria's draw, then the one it it will come out with something is very nice. But if I draw it myself with my own like the string, then. The the outcome will every time it will very ugly. I don't like until I saw a CZT. Uh, she share a a method to draw it. Then I follow that. Then I I think this is the the reason why I like it now because I got the tips. Yeah. So a lot of tangles like the mocha also. Many people say the original one they don't like, but once、mm. they we give them the another way to draw it, then they can't like love it. Yeah, so Sina is this one. If in case some people don't know, we start so, with the C. So, yeah. So what is the tip?、Mm. The tips. Okay, the tips is. I, I'm not sure whether this. Not going to tell you. Oh, then ha. Okay, lor. You don't share with me, and share everyone else. <laughs> oh, like that ha? Then you offline. <laughs> you <laughs> start with a C.、Oh. <laughs> okay. Most of the time, it will come out with a. I think this is good to we use the pendules that the the patterns from the zentangle that one.、Mm-hmm. Then you start with a C, ah, then you start with a C. Then the other one is a.、Uh, is it? Let me think. Ah,、uh, what's the tips? No. <laughs> okay. So from the the curve inside, you just come out in this way. So after the C, then we on your、mm-hmm. sketchbook. So precious then can. Let's、huh? do on the opposite page. No, I. No, no, no. I'm using、oh, another one. Oh, yeah, smart, that's smart. what I thought.、Mm. After the C, then you tell yourself now I want to change to、uh, the S curve. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this one, I think if, this is some. If it's、oh. the Ma and Pangya, uh, duo a lot. Yeah. Actually, Actually, when they first、uh, released it, right, I thought it was a tangulation of Sina. So, first looks the、oh. same, right? Hmm. But they add the weight weight on it, and also like a formula to draw the the line. Looks like a tree. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Susan. Welcome. Now, now you know how to draw、mm. Sina. Mm. Yes, I think I have, I have to admit that there are a few、uh, original zentangle patterns. So the old batch of patterns, right? That I really don't like. I have to admit it because I hardly say this uh, uh, to even my students when I teach. But there are some tangles that I really don't like, like night bridge. I don't think I've used night bridge, night bridge before, you know, like、uh, on purpose, because I feel that it's a waste of ink. Uh, you you get what I mean? So you you、yeah. know how nice bridge looks like, lor. Uh, nice bridge is just like a checkerboard with black and white, black and white, black and white. So it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like that, right? This black uh, let me see on my screen. Yeah, this thing, right? But it's on a grid, so it's like black, white, black, white. And I find that it's very wasteful of ink, lor. So um. I used to really dislike it because you know how、uh, we try to have minimal supplies. Some of us,、um, when you start out、uh, with zentangle, right?、Um, a lot, of, a lot of the CDTs will tell you that you can actually、uh, do zentangle with very minimal art supplies, and that is one of the draws,、uh, one of the attractions that a lot of people like zentangle because it's not complex, right? You just need one pen,、uh, and then you just need. A piece of paper, you know, and then maybe a pencil, you know. So my my aversion to night bridge, ah,、uh, um, stems from from the fact that when you are holding a zero one pen, your nib is so tiny, right? And then you want to color in like a square or or some part of the grid, ah,、uh, you end up ruining the pen. So I really didn't like night bridge. Actually, night bridge is one of those that. Until now, I still don't really have any fondness for it, and I hardly ever use it. Uh, I don't even think that I've gotten over it actually. So it's like it's like um, arch nemesis, and we'll never get get over. You know? Yeah. So I always run like 
away from doing my speech. That's that's one tangle that I've not uh, gotten over. But one tangle that I've gotten over actually is Mia. So you know how Mia looks like? So actually Mia will appear in FYC later on as well uh, in the challenge. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, let me just grab another piece of paper just to show you. So Mia... Um, so Mia starts with like a pair of parallel lines. You can be a pair of curvy lines in your own. My pen is really gone. Okay, sorry. Try again. Try again. So you either start with a pair of lines like that, or like a curve, and then you aura the curve. You know, and then Mia basically fills out any shape you like. Uh, and then the other side goes this way. So it's like a different. Uh, directions your strokes. And then you can you can do many things with this. You can actually make it into a, like a leaf or a seed. Putting it out a bit more so you can see. And then you can sort of put in the leaves like that. So this is also near. I didn't really get near until uh much later when I realized you could add, add in shading that uh, makes it look like uh, a fold in the paper. So if you shade it uh, accordingly, it kind of looks like, you know, there's like a dent in the paper. Like a, you know, it's like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, ah, yeah. Like you are creating some dimension in your paper with just the shading. So mm -hmm. that was uh, the turning point for me, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, hang on. A turning point. At least not like nice bridge. Like, nice bridge is really, I, I still don't like it. Yeah. And I mean, wholesale. Like, uh, if I have. Uh, maybe, maybe last time, last time when people asked me, yeah, what tangle you don't like, right? I don't even think of nice bridge, no? Because it's like, not even in my mind. That's how much I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's my confession for today. I guess for me, uh, the ah. the night bridge is okay if you draw it uh, smaller. Normally, what I did actually is like um, with a smaller, then with a very curvy line. Because I initially, I don't like to draw this using the zero one. But if yeah. I have a zero five, then I'm okay with it. Then it's very, uh, very relaxed when you just uh, color the color, black. Color, color, color. Yeah, color, color, color. <laughs> so when you draw with a smaller one, you spend, uh, I mean, uh, lesser effort to, to make it black. And sometimes I actually also, if draw it bigger, I'll draw another tangle inside the, the place that's supposed to be in black. Yeah. So this is the night bridge I always draw. I, I wouldn't draw the, the standard square mm -hmm. one. Yes. Mm, the original. So I yeah, will. Yeah, because it kills the yeah. fan. La. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and last time and last time when I first started Zentangle, right, I I tried to be very frugal in my pants, you know? So mm -hmm. I, I really decent, didn't like all those tangles that really need to uh you need to fill with uh, a lot of ink because that would mean that my pen will just die sooner. So I would avoid I mean even now also when I have a lot of pens, I like sponsors for our pens, right? Sometimes I still am very frugal, I find. Like, this is a sponsored pen, I think, uh, that I'm holding. So, this is like a silver shadow. And I'm also very frugal with it. I just seem to be like that. Long. And then, if I use a pen, right, I need to use it all. So, <laughs> yeah, some of the quirks. Yeah, okay, all the all the confessions are out. Yeah. Okay, should we do the next uh, question? Or anyone want to say something in the meantime? Okay. No? Okay, then this is a personal question. But it's not hard. Mm. <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know how people make New Year resolutions, right? Mm. So every January, people make a lot of New Year resolutions and then they can't follow them, like, maybe, like, if they create, like, 20, you know? Mm. And then after that, you start one only, then after the second one, and then the third one, and then after that, you slowly sort of lose sight of your New Year resolutions. So I'm not going to ask you to come up with a list, but I'm going to ask you, what do you think you need to do for yourself this year to become more mindful or, or more intentional? So it's not, it's not, a, it's not a very, very uh, broad question. It's really more to do with your own self-care. 
uh, is directed at your own self care, your own enjoyment, and your own intentions. So living intentionally, lah. Basically, how do you think you will help yourself live intentionally for this year? It's not a hard question. Basically, I, I think got we it. came up with it. Yeah, before. I, I got an answer. And also, actually, the last year, my my word of the year was cultivate. So I wanted to cultivate better habits and all, right? So this year, my word of the year is actually mindful. So I think very appropriate for this question. Yeah, and I think my number one uh thing that I want to change for this year is I will try not to rush too much. This is not only in terms of like work, you know, like like studio life, you know, it's also related to like personal life, you know. And like I used to like rush a lot and then maybe not fully in the present. Maybe you're having a conversation with someone then your your brain like don't know where else in your house, thinking about what you're going to do when you get home, what chores need to be done, and also this year I'm going to try to be more mindful in the sense that I'm going to try to be more present, make sure that I double check, triple check things in terms of work, make sure that I'm present when I'm with someone. Can yeah. I record this? Yo. <laughs> I mean, it is recorded, Debbie. Live okay, so on I'll Instagram. <laughs> yeah, check, check, check back in, in 12 months to see next year whether I, I, I achieved it. Susan, how about you? Maybe what confessions okay. you going to have on tape? <laughs> yeah, maybe this is why I want it recorded, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Never have it on team meeting. Don't discuss it during team meeting, right? Discuss it now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So funny. Yeah. yeah. Susan, go on. Okay. For me, actually, like, um, I try to learn to list down what I want to do in the, the year for, mm-hmm. for many years already. But, and mm-hmm. I realized one problem of mine is actually... Uh, maybe at the beginning, I write a list. Then mm. I didn't uh, look back to my list uh, frequently. Then maybe after one or uh, two or three months, then I maybe I forgot some of them. Then one thing I, I think of I'm going to try this year is actually I want to maintain a, a journal or a book that jot down everything that... Uh, just everything that I think of or everything I want to do. Because last time I keep a lot of a notebook. Some of the hmm. uh, things that I will I will note down in my hand phone. Then some is in um hmm. book A, then book B. Then when I want to refer, that. yeah, then I cannot find. So I think it's so good that it. uh, to just keep one book, a journal, <laughs> to write everything. Yeah. So, then, so right, that I will right, not right, check. Start with us now. <laughs> <laughs> To, to be fair, this year, yo, got parts, different parts of each other, right? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, also, this year, I also, like, tried to consolidate. I found this very nice planner from Muji that's, like, um, it has, like, um, at, the, at the front, it has, like, a month. Then it has a weekly layout, and then there's, like, a few grid pages, like, blank pages at the end where you can, like, write your own notes. And then the weekly spread is, this side, this, on the left side of the book is the weekly spread, so Monday to Sunday. Then on the right side is a blank page, so you can write down your notes. And so far, okay, so, so good. So maybe the system you should has endorse Moji as well, because I Yo. have also a Moji planner. Okay, yeah, let me yeah. try and zoom out and show you that. Oh, can I zoom out without crashing the whole thing? Yeah, okay. So this is my Moji planner, and actually when I got it, Steph looked at me like, huh, for what you pay for this, you know? But... <laughs> Right, Steph? So yeah. actually, you can customize this completely, which I have. So the front part, I have put in my schedule. And then I put in like, um, you know, you can get different inserts. Uh, and then when I told Steph that, then she said, like, how you open up? Uh? Do you remember, Steph? Yeah. So actually, this is very handy because you can just pull it open. Can you see the bind? So it's a spiral bound, uh, but not quite because you can sort of open and close it uh, at any time and then insert any, any, any kind of paper you like. So I also have sketch paper here from Moji, which is actually quite good. Uh, I intend to use more of these as the year passes. Of course, I'm a neat freak. Like, you can tell with all the organizers, right? You don't actually have to buy the organizers. You can just buy the book without all of these parts. And then, of course, I have my FYC here uh, in legend form. Because uh, I'm lazy to get my entire folder binder out, right? So I have a lot of lists here because... We are running a lot of projects this year. And uh, I, I'm actually in the process of popping over some of my notes. So, I, yeah, I see my sketch. 
this is a very childish uh, sketch, but I had some idea that I wanted to do, and then I was trying to test uh, certain ideas out. So, and, and also, um, Muji sells these uh, very interesting, so you can actually replace the covers uh, if they get a bit wonky or something. And they have this um, sticker uh, holder thing that I got, where it allows me to kind of like tuck away a towel, you know, just uh, to bring it around with me uh, for fun. And then, of course, be, me being me, I've stuck uh, a double five towel as my so-called cover. I actually wanted to put it here on the on the front, but then knowing me, I'll probably ruin it, so I'll put I put it on the inner cover. And that that's my that's my bullet journal or journal wannabe. And yeah, I want to get one. <laughs> This one is, looks very nice because the, the ring, you can open it. Because sometimes when uh, working on the books, right, different category, you cannot move it. You cannot uh, shift it to, to group them. So this one is very nice. Susan, when you, when okay. you buy this, uh, Susan, Susan, when you buy yeah. this, you have the A5 one because I have a lot of refills. So I have a lot A5. of spare, I spare calendar, right? I can give it to you. And then I also have spare sketch paper. So you just need to buy the cover, Susan. And you just need mm. to buy the A5. Yeah, and then I can okay. pass you my spares. Yeah. Um, okay. My cousin made this for me. It says, you see? Uh, let me see how I'm going to hold it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Can you see it says, listen? Yeah, so every time I'm tempted to, like, sort of brush past a person, right? Uh, give some context uh, here. I actually talk to a lot, a lot of people on uh, social media as well as CCTs online. Um in Facebook, in Messenger, in everywhere actually, uh, in emails and stuff. So a lot of the times I also am very busy. Uh, and maybe I don't look busy, but I am busy. Um, and I'm always very tempted to sort of like uh, brush past a certain person, you know. Uh, so this is me trying to live intentionally. Uh, intentionally, I'm sharing with you now. But yeah, so this is me uh, trying to or rather unintentionally sharing with you now. Um, I know, right? Words are hard. So basically, um, because I have so little time on my hands, I don't, I don't actually have a true off day where I can shut down uh, like most people do because uh, by virtue of running your own business, by virtue of being online all the time, uh, it's kind of hard to find downtime. So I realized that uh, I have this tendency to sort of brush past people who actually add me on Facebook or add me somewhere and they leave a comment. Sometimes I unintentionally uh, forget to reply to the comment. Um, sometimes I don't receive the notification. And sometimes they write me like a huge chunk of words that I basically don't have time to read. So I've, I've come across uh, several cases uh, of people that I know who are very isolated due to illness, due to their families being away due to being stuck in remote places. And a lot of them, they pour their hearts out for me. And I think um, for me, it's both, both a blessing and a curse to be able to be approached by people. Because mm. I need to learn when to draw the line for myself, for my own uh, mental health, for my own balance. Uh, as well as when do I stop, pause and listen, right? So a lot of the times... Uh, I spent a long time responding to all, all of these emails. Uh, my team knows uh, that we have a lot of emails because they are mostly CC in a lot of the work-related emails. Uh, what they don't see is the personal ones as well, uh, which are very long, sometimes much longer than the work ones. And I need to feel uh, more into the investment uh, of these conversations sometimes. And of course, with your private life, you can't sort of like have the same kind of conversation with everybody that contacts you, lah, right? But you need to have the present, uh, presence of mind as well as being present in the moment as well as also showing them that you are present, you know, like you actually care about them. Um, for me, I try my hardest. Um, if you happen to be one of those that I have not responded to, uh, please don't write me five more emails. Uh, I will get to you eventually. Uh, yeah, yeah, it has happened before. Like, how come you didn't reply to me, you know? And then this person goes, like, she emails me, and then she WhatsApp me, and then after WhatsApping me, she goes to Messenger to text me, and then after Messenger, she goes to Line Chat. So I have, like, 
a bunch of like notifications from the same person. Um, I try to keep up, but I'm also human, lah. Yeah. So, um, it's kind of uh, I I guess for me, I also want to engage with everyone, but I also need to realize that I'm human, you know, and I also need to plan my own downtime. Mm-hmm. Uh, to not go all the time. Yeah. And I've managed to function quite well in terms of um, working from home because before the pandemic started, I was already like sadly work from home and I was juggling different uh, jobs and things along with the company, uh, our company. Uh, so it's kind of like, uh, for me, it still works out. It's just that I need to factor in more downtime. So for me, I also need to learn how to be I think I'm most patient with everyone except myself. So I need to learn how to be patient with myself. You know, I need to learn how to process uh, some of the feelings that I have against some of the people in my life, like my family members. Uh, I need time to sort of rejig my whole thought life. Uh, not that my thought life is in a bad place. Please don't wait until your thought life is in a bad place to sort of look into this sort of mental health issues. Uh, more so like maintenance, you know. So, although I'm in a good place emotionally, although I'm in a good place spiritually, um, sometimes you find that things can go out of hand unexpectedly, like suddenly. So, my advice is to actually take stock uh, of what you are going through, process what you are going through at regular intervals. Don't wait until something explodes before you try to sort of figure out your own feelings and stuff, right? Sometimes, uh, like like I used to tell Steph, you know, you need to know mm. what the limits are, right? Mm. Before you push anything, uh, where where's the cliff? Basically, where's the cliff? <laughs> Don't go over the cliff, you know, accidentally trying to yeah. So a lot of the things that we share with you, uh, are very real to life. Uh, I I really, I mean, are stuff that we face uh as a team as well. Um. Maybe Susan want to talk about besides your journal that you want to keep. Oh, before that, I want to talk something about just now about the listen, right? Most mm. of the time, that people will say that um we need to listen to other people, uh, let them mm. talk uh, to understand them more. Actually, I found that listen to ourselves is very important also. Mm. Just we always like I want to take care of other people. But mm. I forgot that I need to take care of myself. I forgot to mm. listen to the, the little voice inside me. So I think it is good that um, like maybe every week, find a little time or maybe if possible, a one day that you can just be alone, then um, listen to yourself and do something that you like and also have some uh, quiet time that listen to yourself and to review some of the things. Then you feel that, okay, maybe you you have the chance for you to to understand yourself more instead of just uh, giving up. Give people to people, but you forgot about yourself, the need mm-hmm. of yourself. Yeah. I think, um, I think when we are teachers, right, we, I mean, not everyone likes to be a teacher. Uh, but I've noticed that people who likes who like to be teachers tend to be very uh, on the empathetic side. Mm. But then uh, we are the people who show the least empathy to ourselves mm. uh, a lot of the time. So when I say that, I say that with a pinch of salt because uh, my mom was a school teacher and my mom used to give to everybody in the community uh, in many ways. She will be in church, uh, helping the people in church. She will be at school, helping the poor students. You know, like, like um, I mean, in every school, there are, there are students who are a bit more disadvantaged, la, right? Mm. So she will be always giving to the entire community. But when it came to her health, right, she didn't actually... Um, of course, this is many years ago now. This is like uh, over 20 years ago now. Uh, 25 years ago, more than 25 years ago. So a lot of the times... Uh, when we interpret things, we interpret in the internet age, you know, like uh, or Google, everything is Google, right? But at that point, when my mom was uh, in the height of her career, she didn't have all these uh, Google or whatever to help her. And her her nutrition was very poor. 
she didn't understand uh, the direct impact of nutrition. She didn't understand that you need to eat well in order to live well. You know? So as a result, right, the more she gave to, to her community, and I, I carry that a lot as well also because I, I'm a very big uh, believer in you know, empowering our community activities you know, and giving back uh, to causes. I think my team will tell you that uh, I'm so driven that they need to put a leash on me at some point, right? Mm. Uh, to stop me from like coming out with even more things to give away. So I give away so much that uh, I'm kind of like my mom when it comes to that. Because I feel like she's given away her health in the, in the late 30s. Because she was a very young person uh, at 44 when she passed away. Yeah, and it was due to all the stress. Due to the stress that she was carrying with her. And so... For me, right, being uh, healthy mentally, being um, a good upright citizen or a good parent, right, also includes looking after your health, looking after your diet, eating your vitamins and stuff like that. So this is something that I have talked to Stephanie about, like, down the years, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, and and I think... I think it's very important that we tell ourselves to take care of our, ourselves, even when no one else is telling us to take care of us. No one told my mom to take care of herself. Yeah. And I think if she had Google or if she had, you know, if she had more support from her family members who understood uh, what she was going through, I think she might still be around. So you, you never know um, these things. Of course, uh, for me, it's just a guess, lah, right? But you never know with these things, you see. You can save a person's life. She she went through a lot of depression, uh, trying to battle cancer, that I feel uh, was brought on by a lot of stress and a lot of toxic people in her life. So knowing when to get rid of the toxic people in your life, the toxic relationships in your life, uh, actually also helps to safeguard your mental health. You know, you're not here to save the world. You're not Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. So. We don't expect you to save the world. We don't expect, you know, a lot um, from a normal human being. You're still a human being, right? So I guess, I think uh, when we talk about mental health, we need to start thinking about what we eat as well, what we do, what we drink, you know, the kind of, uh, are we drinking our water, that kind of thing. Stuff like that. Like very real, real for life stuff. Yeah, so I think gone very quiet. Well, well, it's not a hard question, right? Mm. Yeah, it wasn't a hard question, right? Yeah. So I'm actually just going over uh, the background with um, a couple of ink pens, Derwent Intense uh, pencils. I, I think I've had this so long that the, the gold uh, print is running off. One is teal green and the other is sea blue. So I'm actually activating them. So when you activate Intense, it becomes like a ink wash. And um, it's a very nice and intense color. If you ink tense color, if you are into this sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So I guess, I guess also when people smile a lot, you think that they are fine, you know? Yeah, so when people smile a lot, it doesn't mean that you can neglect them, you know? Go ask them how they are. So this thing about listen, right? It's not just listen for you, you know. It's listen for them as well, or listen for your. I mean, if you see, uh, as 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 parents, I'm sure most of you uh, actually think that oh, if I can provide a better life, you know, if I can provide more material things. Actually, it's not about material things. It's it's, it's about mm. listening to your family. Yeah, it's like being around and sharing the you know, just the present present moment. Yeah. So we try to do that uh, with my niece and nephew, who. Uh, who have just lost their dad. Uh, they are very young. And then we try and do that with uh, our godchild as well. So, But it's just not enough. You know, it's just not enough. At the end of the day, all the time that we have spent, it's just not enough. Hmm. Yeah. I think also with, with kids, a lot of parents struggle with guilt. Like, oh, if I don't spend every single waking hour with my child, then I'm not a good parent. <laughs> but then, as Susan say, you know, 
you want to take care of other people, you need to take care of yourself also. You know, you cannot pour from an empty cup. But I can see why you want to spend more time with them. Yeah, uh. It's just course. that it cannot be damaging for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Otherwise, you yeah. burn out. Then yeah. it cause more damage than if you had just... I, I didn't get to see uh, my mom a lot, actually. Because my mom was always mm. so busy. Yeah. And and of course, when she's busy and she's very tired, she comes on in a very horrible mood, you know? So it mm. kind of overflows into the relationship, whether you're helping or not. I mean, whether you're doing it on purpose or not. So it's kind of unhealthy for the recipient as well. And of course, at that point in time, I was too young to understand uh, what was going on. Uh. I, was, I, was, I was very young when she first fell ill. I was only 10 years old. And a lot of these things that I'm telling you about, I only managed to process in my 30s. Mm. So the damage is actually very long-lasting. And of course, uh, you know, some people don't heal at all, uh, even in their late 50s or 60s, you know? Mm. Yeah, so... So sometimes uh, it pays just to consider, you know, the person in front of you, how they are doing. Of course, if it becomes very toxic for you, then you need to weigh your, weigh your response uh, and protect yourself first. Yeah. Um, I, I also had to say uh, goodbye to a few friendships uh, this year. Uh, I think Steph knows about them. I don't mm-hmm. think Susan knows uh, the whole story yet. But she might. I don't know. Yeah, but no shame in that, you know, really. If you have to say bye, right, for whatever reason, uh, sometimes it's just inevitable. You know, it's just part of life. Of course, I feel sad, lah, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, I think someone said it well when they said, you know, don't cross an ocean for someone who cannot cross a puddle for you. Mm. Yeah. Okay, very philosophical. Can we go to the next question? <laughs> or, or you have other things to add? <laughs> I remember, I remember this like, to to lighten the. I remember this joke. Someone said like, "Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't want to work a nine to five, so I started my own business. Then now I work twenty four seven. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what thing? Someone in chat says that the screen stopped working. That means oh, you okay? My screen is yeah. it? Think, no, I think all of us are okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. It yeah. might be your internet though. Hmm. So but anyways, or, if or you miss app. Yeah, if you missed some parts of uh, this session, there'll be a recording available on our Instagram at Seven Forest Five Rivers. And also on YouTube. So it will take a couple of hours for me to upload uh, this recording onto YouTube. So if you check back on our YouTube channel tomorrow, it should be out and you can watch it. Yeah, I'm halfpen underscore will draw. Debbie is tangled.pursuits and Susan is susanyo.cct. If you tangle along with us, do post your tile on our Facebook group, uh, 7F5R Challenge. You can go to this link, bit.ly slash fb7f5r. And if you post your artwork on uh, Instagram, please tag, tag it, hashtag FYIC 2022 so that we can find your artwork and like and share your posts. Or even yeah. send it by, uh, Yeah. So we have yes. a bunch of different tags that you can use. Uh, yeah. I think the current one that we're focusing on is the FYIC one, of course. But um, you can tag the studio as well. And then that will be easier for us to find. Um, okay, I have another question. So we had this very philosophical moment, right? So maybe you want to continue that and say, what is something you would like to tell the team? So Steph, what is something you want to tell us? And then what is... Yeah, yeah. Why you volunteer me first? (laughs) Can Susan go first? Sorry, please repeat your question. (laughs) Susan lost (laughs) that. What is something you want to tell our team, Susan? Um... I have a thing to tell the team. We had team meeting last this Tuesday, la. nothing to tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's something to uh, tell. Not the too stressed have... for not ourselves. Too stress. Not too stressed for not ourselves. Too okay. Be kind to ourselves. Mm. Be kind. Not to stress then, ourselves. Uh, mm. Not to stress ourselves. Oh. Then. Um, if there need be, there's a you need a rest, then just rest. Don't uh, I overwork. You're telling me directly. <laughs> Is it? 
I mean, just to specifically to Debbie. <laughs> Stephanie needs to work harder. <laughs> Don't be a lazy <laughs> nonsense. Uh, work only 9 to 6. Okay? Uh, <laughs> I, I think that's a very big hint, right? Because we always have our conversations, like, like any time that, you know, we strike the fancy. Yeah. Well, mm. it's historical, la, because it used to be just me and Steph, right? And then we just... Steph and I have been friends for so long, like six years, and also so deep in the sense that I know her mom, I know her mom-in-law, you know, and then I talk to both of them as well. You know, that kind of uh, very sisterly sort of thing. Of my so child. for us, yeah, and there are so many layers to our friendship that sometimes uh, it's kind of like when I talk to Steph about work, she thinks it's personal, and then when I talk about personal stuff, she treats it like work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's, mm-hmm. that's just us. La. Yeah, that's just us. But I think sometimes because uh, you deal with a lot of people that outside Singapore, maybe in US, mm. because of the time zone, time so zone, right. it's hard to avoid to really stick to 9 to 6. Mm. This one is... Um, I try. Uh, I do try. I mm. do try to text you in the middle of the night, you know, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I do I still, still talk to people in the middle of the night. Not not you guys, but other people. So I do try. Mm. I'm quite... Mindful of that because I don't want you all to work twenty four seven. So I mean, no, no, but but don't don't mean misunderstand saying that I don't want to receive your message <laughs> after <laughs> before or after ah. Uh. Okay, don't mean uh, misunderstand ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You just don't mean hmm. only It's okay lah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, 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 I understand. I mean, I, I always leave the message because I, I'm afraid to forget. You know, so yeah, me too. I never expect, yeah, yeah, because I never expect you guys to. Well, I message me, you all have to run. Like, no, I don't. I don't. I just, I just leave it there because if I don't message you guys, I'll forget about it later, or or something might interrupt me, and then you know, it's just yeah. So my memory isn't that good. Uh, all our memory isn't that good actually. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, it's better to have a uh, kind of common understanding, like, Yeah. Not. I mean, I I typically um. I think we work uh, at least 12 hours a day on a regular day. So I'm trying to slow down. And, and, and I don't expect anybody to be like me because I, I also don't want to be like me, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm true. Sure, we... so, yeah, don't, yeah, don't enable me. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah, make New Year resolutions. Say, I want to do more projects. I want to get more done. <laughs> Debbie make New Year's. I want to be more lazy. I want to be more like Stephanie. <laughs> I want to be more like Susan. Be more chill. Yo, I want to be more. So let's check in on our tiles. How's everyone hey, hello, doing so far? Okay la. Not check Wait first la. We check in first. Check in. She <laughs> don't know that. But very kong kang uh, outside. Then how? Uh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannot oh, finish all at once, right? Yeah, la, but I add it like slowly. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yo, then Debbie. Don't psychoanalyze my talk. Debbie doing what? Debbie adding shading? I added shading with really. it. In graphite pencil, just... really? uh, No. I actually shaded with the way intense. Oh, Remember yeah, I said okay. I have a yeah, yeah. couple of colors here, yeah. So I'm actually, uh, I actually use three colors. I'm gonna use a fourth one. Mm-hmm. I'm actually trying to make the blue, which was a very flat color, look a bit more gradient like. So Mm-mm. can you see? It was originally just blue, but can you that see blue. a bit of green now? Barely, barely. Uh, I see more maybe purple it is. I haven't added purple yet. I might, but I added. Uh, so these are the couple of greens that I added. I added teal green and apple green. So I added two greens. Can you see? Yeah. So I added these two. Uh, I activated them with water. Just to sort of create a sheen. Um, yeah, so Steph, are you going there? Can. Yeah, to, to close the loop, for me, I shaded using the one color soft colored pencil. Hey, no, no, no. Tell us what you shaded. Yeah, like, hold on. Nah, I'm getting there. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Please, 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 please. No, okay, no. <laughs> the one yeah. color pencils and then I'm now adding highlights uh, <laughs> using a white uniball signal broad pen. Yeah. And to answer the question uh, to answer the question oh. <laughs> <laughs> To answer the question, I would like to say that 
the th- the three of us plus Daniel. Daniel is also a partner. Daniel is yeah, four of us. Husband. Yeah, three of us plus Daniel. So the four of us. Yes. Okay, I can do math. <laughs> I can do basic math. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> so the four I of us. See the four of us. I can feel. <laughs> I can feel the. the <laughs> hmm. I didn't say anything. Do the counts. Don't want to do. Yeah, so the, the three of us plus Daniel, so the four of us, are actually very genuine people. And I feel that that's very rare these days. So, um... Can you imagine you cannot count up to four? <laughs> My goodness. I have a daughter. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's very rare these days that people are so genuine. And I think no matter what, we will place each other above our business. That's very rare. And so we know that we have each other's back. So all the projects that we embark on, we will be willing to push ourselves harder, we'll be willing to um, take more risks than other people would because we know that we have support from each other and there'll be someone to catch us if, if we fall. So we need the sky's the limit and I cannot wait to see what wonderful things we achieve in 2022. Yeah. How about you, Debbie? What do you have to say to the team? I had to mute myself because there was a car alarm. I think it's mm. gone now. I hope it doesn't start again. Yeah. So I was saying that my face is very noisy, right? Yeah. Um, well, I want to say thank you because I really like... Uh, I, okay, I, maybe maybe I start with... As always, like, I always like to start with contacts, right? So I used to work... Uh, I used to work in a corporate environment as well as a... Uh, government uh, sort of like community service and, uh, environment and I used to have a lot of teams I used to look after teams my own teams as a manager and stuff like that so I work with a lot of teams and the number one thing that kills most teams is not the workload and it's not the it's not the stress it's, it's more like a lack of uh, empathy you know and also kind of like lack of transparency as well as communication, you know. Mm. So when we first started out, Steph and I, um, there were a lot of issues with communication and trust. So basically, she thought I'm going to run away from money, uh, <laughs> which is actually, I, I, I have more than enough to pay her. You know I, mean? I don't have to run away with it, basically. So the, the, the trust issue kind of like uh, encapsulated us for a long time. And it was made worse because um, it was made worse because uh, because she's a lot younger than I am, and uh, she was worried about being paid, so she kept transferring that worry onto me. And then how I responded was, okay, I'll teach you everything that I know. And how I responded probably wasn't the best as well because. I really uh, kept my promise and I tried to teach everything that I know uh, and it might have damaged <laughs> our relationship. I don't know. Uh, because how I work is not how other people work, right? Everyone has their own style. Um, but I don't expect her to uh, work in the same manner as I work. I only expect her to communicate, you know, and uh, sort of like uh, be transparent and stuff like that. So I'm glad that we actually got past that, that stage. Because that stage mm. was very terrible for me. I, I don't know, but it was very terrible for me. Uh, it was very terrible for me because I'm not a micromanager. I don't uh, go very micro when I manage people. Uh, I used to do very well with all the interns that I actually worked with uh, in the past. Uh, I've never met an intern that didn't like uh, working with me. And I thought I knew better, you know. So meeting Steph was a, uh, an eye-opener in the sense that, well, the first time working with a friend, a close friend, right? And also, like, the first time uh, trying to explain a lot of concepts to her uh, on a very fundamental level and also trying to maintain her voice, you know, in things. So from, from day one, I did... <clears throat> actually, from day one, I, I did tell her that, you know, it's not going to be a bit of losers, lah, Right? And... From day one, I did tell her that there will be a lot of uh, hard work, you know, involved. But then I also told her that I will always be honest uh, with her, uh, no matter what it is, uh, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. 
uh, I told her I always be honest, and not many people can take honesty. So my theory is this lah: if your friend cannot be honest with you, then then who can be honest with you, right? So I mean, your your enemy will not be honest with you. Let's put it that way, yeah. right? So, uh, based off of that, right? Sometimes I am very brutally honest. Um, that's just how I am. And for the team to be able to stand that, I think it's a very, uh, it's it's very, um, it's 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 really a very major achievement, uh, Because some of the things that I tell them, uh, I won't repeat elsewhere. Also, uh, to be honest, because I respect them and everything, but I'm also very honest when when I deal with them, you know, and 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 sometimes honesty can break uh friendships. So being able to yeah being able to pull up with my honesty and and how I work is something that I really want to thank this uh team for lah because this team uh somehow really believe in me and trust me and for that I'm also very grateful so my the main thing I want to say is thank you because I know I'm not easy to work with uh sometimes and of course who works like round the clock right yeah. Uh, don't have to answer my emails. Don't have to answer anything. Uh, if it's past your working hours, so our working hours are like everyone has a different working hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we are not a we're not a conventional team to begin with. So everyone has their own. Everyone has their own agenda and, and their own schedule, and that's how we have operated for the past three years. So, yeah, I I think to be able to accept this team. And how we work is a major accomplishment in itself. So yeah, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Oh, so nice to be mm. along the lines don't of cry, this. Don't cry, ah, please don't oh. cry. Along the lines <laughs> of this uh, thankfulness, <laughs> someone in chat said thank you for this vi- video. I tangled along impromptu this morning. It was a pleasant start to my day in the Netherlands. I love listening to your voices. Wow. Oh. That's the first time anyone has um sort of like yeah, it's a, complimented it's my check. voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for joining yeah, so us. Susan, no, no, yeah. no. Susan hasn't answered yet. What no, no, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. I answered. You. She answered already. Yeah, she did. I said I'm oh, the first one who answered, right? Mm, yes, she did. Oh. Go so back and view the recording. Like oh, she Can't lied to us. Yeah, <laughs> go back and view the recording. <laughs> <laughs> So funny. Yeah, but thank you guys for joining us live. And if you're watching a recording of this session, that's great too. If you tangle along with us, we'd love to see what you've created. You can tag us on Instagram at 7 5 rivers You can also tag Debbie Tangled.Pursuits and Susan at SusanYo.CZT. I am Halfpen underscore Will Draw. And do also post your, your tiles on our Facebook group, 7 f Art Challenge. The hashtag for uh, Fragment of Your Imagination Challenge 2022 is hashtag FYIC2022. Uh, and as, as, oops, as a recap, we used uh, the Fragment uh, from 8th January <laughs> in the FYIC Hanok in Snyder. And then 11th January was Bill. I think it had a cheat sheet. Is the yeah, here, here. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I think my mm. screen is lagging. Yeah. Instagram, right? Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that they are getting worse? Because the lag is even worse than before. I don't know. Maybe it's just stability issues, I hope. Well, at least no one got booted out today, my goodness. Well, if I'm booted out, I'm not coming back in. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> On that, note, <laughs> on that note, if you would like to join us and our nonsensical nonsense uh, again next week, it's same time. Nonsensical nonsense. Yes. Hey, same I time. Thought this, I thought the questions were meaningful and, and the answers were meaningful. What do you mean by nonsense? Yeah, yeah. Nonsense. In between, there was like, there was like filler Excuse nonsense. Me? Like. In between the, the meaningful things, there were nonsensical nonsense as well. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you for for so uh, for the questions this week, Levi. Will there be questions next Should week I as well? Should I questions next week? I don't mind. I'm not complaining. Do you prefer her questions or my questions? Which is harder? 
Yo. Uh, so, do you... were saying that the question is very difficult, ma. So I was trying to help. Well, if you don't need this, then you do the question fix it, ah. Yeah, yeah, Susan, <laughs> we take turns. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I think I, is, I, I better answer the question then. Think of the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can also think of the string if you like. Yeah. Okay. String is easier than question. <laughs> <laughs> you take that option. Yeah. So, so um, yeah. I think, I think I'm almost done. Actually, I don't know what to do with my last one. So, I think I'll think about it for a while. Before I'm I could almost done too. Susan, what about your sketchbook? I added some uh, color. Maybe I will continue on this. Where got yeah. color? Is it graphite? A little bit. Oh, it's blue. Okay, okay I can see. Yeah, it's a blue, then a brown. It's a color. Where got color? Yeah. Don't so want yeah. to re- ask for ask for refund for the it's color refund. pencil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The be yours then? My mine is uh, well I, I still have one what seeds uh left to go so I I filled mm. up three of them. I still have one that I've still oh, okay, that mm. Yeah and, and in the meantime instead of like wasting time thinking like, I'm trying to sort of shade mm, uh, and smart. Add, like darker so I'm actually holding on to indigo deep indigo uh ink pants. I keep forgetting what it's called. Uh <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm holding on to indigo. So my point was to sort of uh, because my color was very flat today, although it had my in it, it was like a very consistent blue. I was trying to uh, sort of add uh you call it like glaze. I, I was mm-hmm. trying to glaze it over with uh, activated ink pens in certain parts just to vary up the consistency. Yeah. Actually, I was so worried that we would finish the questions earlier, you know, that, oh. than, than usual, that I actually have a spare question. Oh, this for next week. Okay, for the next week, yeah. yeah. For next week, yeah. Okay, yeah. Can, can, can. Yeah, so if you guys want to join that. us, <laughs> if you guys want to join us live, <laughs> it's 2.45 p.m. Singapore time on Wednesday. Yeah, and a, rec- a recording of this session will be available on our Instagram. Bring, bring your hand out the next time so that it's yes. easier to refer to because we will be yes. using uh, the fragments, uh, some of the fragments from week three. Mm. I don't think we will have time for all, but I think we'll have time mm. for at least three of them. So bring, yeah. your, bring your handouts, um, bring some pals and of course your pens and just be comfortable, I guess. Yeah, I think next week I'll, I'll have like a tea with me so that I can sort of like sit on it as I tangle because I feel very dehydrated. You will put in. Yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again next That's week. That's all for today. Yeah. Yay. Thanks for being with us and listening to our uh, meaningful nonsense. <laughs> nonsensical <laughs> meanings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you again next week. Bye. 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 Thank you.